Hello, welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a super exciting video um, for you today. I would like to introduce you to my crafty selection box for June. Um, I have to apologise, this video is about a week late. Um, in <laughs> And so this video goes out Monday. The, my booking sign-up sign closes on Wednesday, so you need to move really, really quick to get your hands on this. This is a brand new thing for me and my business, and I am so excited um, that I can grow my business in this way. I'm just this oh this box just makes me so happy the reason i called it my crafty selection box is because it's that play on um that selection box and that opening the selection box on christmas morning and you know you know exactly what's in it and you know that you like every single piece of it but it's still really exciting and you can still enjoy every single little bit and that is what this kit is so Every single month I will be bringing you a new crafty selection kit. This one, this month I'm using the Bird Ballard suite from the new Stampin' Up! catalogue. Um, and it's £25, it includes postage and packing directly to you. Um, and heaps and heaps of stuff. This, I've got most of the kit in this box. As you can see I've already been playing with it. So there's bits of cut up designer series paper and all sorts in here. But I'm going to show you the Bird Ballard suite. This suite just is, oh it's beautiful. Page 90. I love what Stampin' Up! have done with the sweets in the catalogue this year. So you've got some fabulous inspiration right in the catalogue. Of, you know, with using every single bit of this of this suite. It's lovely. And then you've also got a list of exactly everything that comes in the suite. And if you want everything, there's one order number. How cool is that? But you don't want to do that because you want this selection kit because there is more than just the Bird Ballard suite in here. So, £25 gets you so much stuff. So, I'm going to show you the designer series paper first because that is the bit that makes me happier than anything else. So, like I said, I have cut into this already and the designer series paper comes in 12 by 12 pieces. I will be cutting it down for you into 6 by 12 um, so you're not going to get kind of full sheets. But I wanted to show you kind of everything as it comes or as it's in my box. Also, this box you're not going to get either. But that's how I store my kits. Always store my kits like this. When I was a scrapbooker, I used to store my scrapbook kits like this too. And it just it makes it easy for me. So, this paper. I mean, look. Look at that floral. It's so gorgeous. There's beautiful birds on the other side. There's a polka dot. As you can see, like scraps that aren't scraps because they're just beautiful. <laughs> that bird paper oh, i love i um die cut some of the birds out for my thank you cards this past month they're coming out to you to what well, the blog post is coming out to you tomorrow um uh, what's on the side of that oh the, the polka dots this paper makes me happy this reminds me so much of some scrapbook paper um, that i had probably about eight years ago um, it's probably still in my stash i have a stack of scrapbook paper that yeah isn't ever going anywhere and that just reminds me of this with some beautiful feathers on we've got this beautiful floral um that's got keys in green on the other side this beautiful bird paper this the bird ballad suite papers are all like, straight makes me happy um have been coloured at the home office by somebody using stamping blends. Look at that. And beautiful yellow and I think that's it. Yeah, so that's all the kind of papers um, and you'll get, like I said, a 6x12 um, sample of each one of those. Um, yeah, so the, the, I, mean, I can't get my words out. The papers have all been coloured, they're all hand drawn and then they're coloured by somebody at the home office, stamping at the home office, using the stamping blends. So they uh, they match the Stampin' Blends colours absolutely perfectly. Then, as well, you get a sample of the... Now, let me get the name of this right. The Scalloped Lace Trim, which is just beautiful. I love this. I am not a lace person at all, but this... I have got some beautiful, beautiful cards out of this. I'm literally just using like, little scraps of it. You, that will last me forever. Then you've, there's also some of the pearlized doilies in there as well. Um, these are kind of pearly on one side and matte on the other. So you can ink those um, and get them all different colours. So they, they could be pearl or they could be any colour you like. 
there will also be a sample of the Bird Ballad trinkets. These are just stunning. So you've got flowers and keys and little leaves and bows. And some of them, like the, the keys and the, the, the um, leaves, you can see they've got kind of circles on. So you could, I mean, that's going to make a really cool earring or a charm on your diary. Um, awesome love those they stick on really really easy as well with a glue dot then you also get envelopes and some die cut shape pieces and a load of cardstock so there are three pieces of whisper white and then six colored pieces of cardstock so you've got two in pool party two in crumb cake and two in petal pink in this particular crafty selection kit then so that is the that is the kit um in its kind of entirety but um and i'm gonna i'm gonna make a card for you while i'm waffling i do want to show you some coordinator products that you can of course add in to your crafty selection kit and not pay any extra postage because i'm nice like that so this the bird ballad paper coordinates with the free as a bird stamp set i am in love with this it's just beautiful i'm going to use this big bird piece today i'm going to color it with some blends um, and you've also got the, let me get the name of these right, the stitched nested labels dies. That's the bit I can't, I I call them stitched labels and then forget the nested bit. Uh, but they are just lovely and they've got the stitched markings on both sides. So they make fabulous kind of shaker windows and things because you've still got that, that stitch detail on, um, on both sides. There's, there is loads of dies in this kit there's uh, how many oh they used to be nice there's nine dies yeah which are eight of the kind of label shapes and one straight shape so you can use this piece to make a straight line at the end of each one so you're not if you're if you're cutting them off you don't have to have an unstitched edge which i think is fabulous um and then this which just make this tin makes my heart happy this i these cards i used um for my may thank you cards because they are just beautiful and i couldn't help myself i was a bit naughty because they're not the cheapest thing in the world but they are just beautiful um you get 12 of the note cards and 12 of the envelopes and the envelopes aren't our standard stamping up envelopes they have got this beautiful scalloped edge and they are laser cut and they're just beautiful. But once you've used the cards, look at the tin. That is gorgeous. I, I'm i going to collect these this year. Decided I don't know what I'm going to put in them when I've finished putting note cards in them. Um, but I'm going to collect them because they're just stunning. So let's have that Freezer Bird stamp set out and make a card. So what I have done is I have got a piece of crumb cake um, cardstock that I have already cut and scored to make a card base and I have got a piece of very vanilla. I do also, which I have of course now put in my crafty selection kit, a piece of designer series paper that I had already pre-cut but that would be, you know, that'd be easy wouldn't it if I hadn't, there is that one there, that beautiful floral then let's move all this out of the way again so then we've got that that's going to layer on there then i have also die cut the biggest one of those nested labels and a stitch circle from the stitched shapes dies so and i'm going to kind of do a bit of I'm going to make it a little bit kind of shabby chic when I find my, oh, you know, there we go, that's the one, my sponge, which I knew I needed, but then forgot all about. So, I'm going to take those birds, I'll get those mounted up onto my block, and I'm going to stamp them in tuxedo black ink. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I have got a load of stamping blends handy. And this is one of those images where you could, you I mean, you really could go to town, um, um, you know, make it this really stunning, detailed, uh, blended image. Or you could do Hannah's version of stamping blends, 
where I just throw colour at them. So <laughs> I have got, I'm going to use, what have I got here? The light, oh this is light poppy parade by Marcus's but it's not, it's light granny apple green. And I'm just going to throw the colour onto the leaves really loosely, more of a hint of colour than kind of properly coloured in like that. I'm then going to take this one which is light blackberry bliss and I only tend to use the bullet tip of my marker as well. I'm going to throw that onto the flowers like that. I have got the light crumb cake and I'm going to take the bullet tip again and I'm just going to just hit the branch all the way along kind of a little hint of colour. I have got light pumpkin pie, all the light colours here except the last one and I'm just going to dab on some um, of that onto the beaks of the birds and then I don't go in for colouring birds in a kind of, oh, why will that not click on, there we go, um, it's really important that you click your marker lids onto your pens otherwise they do dry out and this one is dark pool party. I, what was I saying? Oh, but brain. I've got, I've still got baby brain. I'm telling you. So we're gonna just kind of, yeah. I'm, I don't do. I don't go in for really kind of realistic bird coloring. Um, I like. I'm, I know that there's probably there may well be a bird in nature that's this color, but I very much doubt it. Um, but I mean, you could do kind of fabulous. There would be. They would make great blue tits or. Um, Oh, do them yellow and they could be Easter chicks anything it could be anything you like but that I mean super super quick hint of colour on and look at that it's gorgeous so and then I'm also going to take my pool party ink and oh which one's going to fit and my if, I'm sorry if you can hear crying in the background my husband has been out with my baby and they have just got back by the sound of it but she doesn't sound very happy I'm going to stamp that on there and then use some crumb cake ink and I am going to hit the edges all the way around that circle like so and make this kind of shabby I'm going to do the same on the label. I've also got the cat in the room because she's heard the baby cry. She's now wandering around. People say things about cats and babies, don't they? My cat loves my baby. There is no way my cat would do any harm to my baby because she's just obsessed with her. Absolutely obsessed. We got home from the hospital and within 10 minutes, Frida was looking at Neve and staring at her and just being completely transfixed totally obsessed with her so that is my kind of we've shabbied those up a little bit I am going to pop some snail on the back of that piece of very vanilla like so and again on the back of that piece of design series paper if you want my measurements for my cardstock, I have a page on my blog called Standard Card Measurements and they are all listed on there. I'm going to just pop some snow on the back of this label. I'm going to pop that straight down into the middle. And then that's going to go on there, but oh, I'm going to just grab a little sliver of that lace trim like so and just pop that on there and I'll just a little bit of snail that I'm going to cover up with my sentiment so I need two dimensionals on the back of there and that is I think quite a quick card really because I did a lot, I've done a lot of waffling in this video <laughs> quick shabby chic uh, free as a bird card using my crafty selections kit for June like I said if you want 
um, to grab that Crafty Selections kit, all you need to do is pop into the, the down bar below, there will be a link that says get your Crafty Selections kit, fill the form in on that blog post and I will email you um, with the payment details. And that is my video for today. Thank you so, so much for joining me and I hope to see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.